are rows and rows of stores selling delicious food and we're here to try as much of it as possible. And to make things a bit more interesting, me and Martha are going to have a challenge between ourselves to see who can get the most value for the money. We have 200 baht each to spend tonight and let me tell you, it will shock you on how far this money will stretch. And to start off with, I'm getting something that I've always wanted. Okay, so this might not be a good start for me. This has just cost me 35 baht. I've always wanted one. I always see everyone having them. I haven't given it a try, but that was a dent in the budget. I'm disappointed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what seasoning did you have? I had paprika on it, but it doesn't feel like there's enough potato because it is so thin. So it's like having a really thin chip. Well, now I'm starving, so we're going to go find something else. <laughs> Hello, uh, can I have one of these please? Uh, are you enough? Yes please. A uh, uh, little bit spicy I think, okay. yes. Well this looks proper interesting. It said on the side it's Japanese pizza. Never heard of it so, first for me. This one cost me 39 baht. Is that how much yours was? Yeah. And who's winning already? <laughs> that looks so good. Mm. That is really hard. What does it taste like? It's cold, which is one minus point for me because I like hot food. But, one sec, I'm going to have to try it again to tell you what it tastes like. I would say it's like a soft spring roll but with a lot of sauce on and a little bit spicy. There was options for one with meat, but I'm on a budget. Now I've gone for some fried chicken and it looks really good. It kind of looks like there's some like similar seasoning to the last one, but hopefully it's better. Oh. It tastes like Dorito. Dorito? Yeah. Oh, it's quite spicy. And this was 10 baht for just one piece of chicken. And that is a big piece of chicken. Very good. Mm. <laughs> I underestimated the spice. <laughs> I might need to get a drink next. Oh my gosh. This is Martha who sweats over a korma. So it's probably not even that spicy. <laughs> Disgusting, eat your mouth closed. Can I come and tear up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm eyeing up some squid in the background as Martha eats this. It looks really nice. Daddy, can I have a two of that, please? Yes, two, please. Oh, he dipped it in some spice at the end and it smells really spicy. So I might be joining you in a second. Oh no. Not too bad, that's really tasty though. Wow, that was really good. I got two pieces for 20 bar. That's a bargain for squid as well. That's really good. I also don't think we mentioned yet, but we're actually at Krabby Night Market today. We've been in Krabby for the past couple of days since coming back from Koh Lanta and this is where we thought we'd come for tea tonight. I think we made a good choice. But I think I need I think I need a drink. I can't handle spice. Well, Marco was meant to get a drink, but I've saw, seen these on the way. Nice. One. One. Yes, please. Two cups. Oh, yes, please. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, Thank you. Oh, wow. Well, that is a bargain. That's 25 baht for that. The caramel, caramel milk, milk jelly. jelly tea. I tell you, that is, that is, 
I'm, flab I'm flabbergasted. It's a full on meal. <laughs> oh. Oh, is it good? Yeah, you're gonna have to try it. What do you think? <laughs> no, that's mine. Can I try some of the jelly? Oh god. Yeah. That does just, just taste like caramel and milk. So just imagine caramel syrup and milk and you mix it together. And then there was coconut you chose, the white ones, and then the black ones come with it, I think. Yeah, it was grass jelly that one was called. This one's coconut jelly. The coconut's much nicer than the grass one. Okay, can I try? Mm. Wow. So sweet, isn't it? It's so weird. That one doesn't taste of a lot. No. But yeah, the coconut's good. It's just so weird. Really. I don't know, that's the milk and caramel bit. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> we were meant to go and get Ma for a drink and ended up getting me one. <sighs> oh. There is so much going on at this market. There's live music playing. There's seats out for everyone to also eat their food so you don't always have to stand up. And there's so many different varieties. There's also a few bars down here. So you can have a few drinks whilst you're at the market too. We're opting for more of the sugary drinks tonight, but you could come here and get beer and cocktails. They do happy hour. And then there's also some clothing stores as well, but it is majority food. And I'm not complaining about that. There's a lot to choose from here, but it is very nice having the live music on. Nice atmosphere, very nice. Thank you. We've gone halves on this next one. As we both wanted it, and it's a big portion. This was 30 baht, so we've gone 15 each. They're just said mini pancakes in English. I think they're sweet though. They look good. There's different ones. We went for that, the mix pack. Mmm. So, that wafer. But it's like really sweet. Oh, can I have that? Oh. What's in the middle of it? I don't really know. Oh, I like that. All that dead Moorish. I'm glad we went half so because I wouldn't have had all of them. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm getting a bit full, but I'm going to carry on eating for the video. <laughs> There's so much good food as well. I'm tallying up. I've got 140 left. I'm just trying to decide where I want to go next. But let me tell you, it is hot in here. I don't know how they do it day to day. Like. I'm sweating so much. You can probably tell I've got like sweatier throughout this video. But it is warm when you come to these markets. Whatever time of day, night. Yeah, I'm struggling on what I want to get now with this money. I want sweet stuff. But I don't know if I'm ready to go to sweet or not. You barely at anything. I know. I feel like I've just been watching you eat. I'm going to go have a look around. I've just had samples. Both of them are really good. I don't know what to do. So this pork leg, pork leg, and pork, all pork, all pork. One's cut up, and one's like string of leg pork rind. It looks really good. I'm having a mix put together. I need to get out of here. I'm sweating. Right. Let's try it. I don't know what the sauce is. Just give me a mixed bag. The fried onions looked so good. Wow, that smells, that smells spicy. Mm. That is so good. Reminds me of a roast dinner. You're gonna have to let me have a piece of that. Mm. Mm. I've not had pork in ages. So for a hundred grams box, it was 50 baht. Which I think is a good deal for the amount of pork. Like, this is a full wad of pork. Mm. Thank you. We've got some quail eggs on a stick for my next thing. Ten bar. And I've never tried one before. Mmm. 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 Ah. Ah. You have that bit. <laughs> Just little runny eggs. So they taste like just little runny eggs. Wow, they look so good. Yeah. They're actually really yummy. 
Does anyone have a better way of eating off of steak? Apart from skewering yourself. Well, a bit of soy sauce on top. One thing I think is so cool about coming to a night market is that everyone comes with their families and it's just like they come out for tea and this is where they come. And you could come on any night of the week and it always feels like a weekend, there's stuff going on. But people probably just come here for the dinner and then go home to get up for work, school. But it's, it's just so fun, like you just come like bring your kids, have what you want. I love that. Can I have one of them please and one of them? I just picked myself up a peanut chicken skewer. It's not so nice. It's too sweet. Really? I'm gonna eat the other one first. That's a big piece of meat you got there. It's some sort of beef sausage. But beef is like very few and far between in Thailand, unless you want to spend a bit more money. So it's nice to have beef for a bit of a change. The peanut skewer was 10 baht. And then the beef one was 20 baht, so not a lot of money left. I am starting to get full and the desserts are starting to look like my second tummy. I think this is my last thing and it's the sweetest thing that I've found. I've seen some people with them whilst we've been walking around, so I want to have one. Here's my last of my money. Thank you. I think this is one of the best things that I've ever seen. They just kept piling more and more stuff up. Mitra's trying to get clips and they just kept putting more and more stuff on it. There's, it's a Korean dessert. I think it's like a shaved ice dessert base. And then with the Oreo one, they put condensed milk on it, Oreo crumbs, Oreo, whipped cream, chocolate sauce, Oreo on top. I am excited. <laughs> oh my god, that is so good. I will give them less of a point for um, the practicality of trying to eat it. I feel bad. I don't know if you can believe it, but this was a small and this was 49 baht. It's not small, this is, this is amazing. Yeah, I'm winning now. Tidying up my mess. As you should, you felt okay. <laughs> now I'm off a scoff the face. I want to go and find a dessert, but nothing too dense because I'm stuffed. Uh, What's inside okay. this one? Coconut. Oh, coconut. Yeah, I'll have one of them, please. You eat now, I'll get away. Yeah, I'll eat it now, please. Thank you. Whoa, it's so spongy. It's like cream wrapped in some sort of skin, coconut, but it's 20 baht. It's just whipped cream, but like, it tastes like coconut. So not dense. Whilst Mitch was looking for a dessert, everything was too dense apparently because he's ate too much food. I'm stuffed I am. I am so, so full. But I'm glad you've been able to find a dessert that's not too dense. I can't eat another thing now. Oh, we have ate very well t tonight. Very well. How much have we got left? We'll have to tally up. I don't know how much I've got left. We'll tally up and then see. But I can't eat another thing. I'm done. We haven't even been able to complete the challenge. No. But it was expected. That was a lot of food and it was all delicious. Yeah, this is more food than we would normally eat on a regular day, <laughs> hence why we've spent a little bit more. A normal meal here is probably like 100 baht, maybe a little bit more. Let us know in the comments below on which pieces you would have chose or if you were more my team me or team Mitch. Yeah, um, or who's been more efficient with their money. Yeah, I didn't get off to a good start. No. <laughs> but if you did like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe down below as it really supports our channel and we're in Asia for the next month so more videos to come bye